And here we are once again. Welcome to Summoner's Rift, Rebels Anarchy versus Samsung Galaxy. All in on the three-man part of that, though, since there just isn't much peel for Sonya. Yeah, there isn't, and that's, that's, that's a the big greatest. problem. Up, oh, there, there flash body slam, gold card right there, though. Knock up, and Eve's in a lot of trouble. First blood goes to Mickey. Lyra getting very, very low. Crown on the run, there's another gold card. May have overextended there. Mickey, though, fairly low health. Can't quite kill off Crown. He's going to teleport in. Tries to make play. Snowflower comes in with that headbutt pulverized. Mickey gets the double this fight. Unofficial double, but Wraith manages to get a bit of revenge. Now going after Snowflower, but... You can see the Luden's Echo finish fast for Crown. He just wants more wave clear right now. Right. Makes sense. And Samsung coming in. They may be able to find a pick on the Snowflower here. Exhaust use on the Crown. Oh, nice dredge line. Max range for Wraith. He pops the ult on the Songyun as well. That's going to be a lot of damage coming in from Crown with that Chaos Storm. Looks like Songyun's going to get out. But a kill for Samsung. Fury picks one up. Mickey, though, starting that split push. We're down the lane. Right. Dragons up. Yep, Samsung going for it. Anarchy needs to stop this from happening. If they let Samsung get three dra dragons without the kills, and they're going to try. Dragon at about half health right now. Teleport coming in from Anarchy. Here it is. Nice headbutt. Pulverize. Doesn't slow them up enough, though. Snowflower in a little bit of trouble. Eve on the run already. Lear in the middle of everything. And Songyun zoning on the top of the fight right now. Lear and Snowflower have to make a run for it. Where is Mickey in all of this? Couldn't find a place to teleport in, and Samsung doesn't want to give up this dragon. They're coming back in again. There's a teleport coming in for Mixie, uh, Mickey. Rather now, there's a kill for Ixu as well. Kills coming in for Anarchy, but now Samsung may be turning it around. Doesn't look like they can do it quite enough, though. Such an even fight. Dragon taken by Anarchy. That is big, and Anarchy able to go one for four and the dragon. Well, oh, Lyra actually oh, is going to make it out right four. there. <laughs> really needed him to provide lockdown for Corky oh, as they Fury. clean that up. Lyra's right there to try to save his jungler. Fury flashes ahead for it. Oh, man, this is crazy. <laughs> oh, Lyra could be in a lot of trouble. Raptor's helping Fury get another one. He's... Ooh. Crown, okay, ultimate use. TF's gonna try to come jungle. in, gonna find Kuve. Kuve in a little bit of trouble with the damage from Songyun as well. This is bad news for the top laner. That's another kill for Mickey. Meanwhile, Snowflower gets all in by Crown, trying to get away, but he's right under that Chaos Storm. Looks like he'll be able to make it out. Yep. And now they can start thinking about this Baron. Baron is dangerous though, because they're not very tanky. Yeah, they started it though. They're going to be oh boy. going for it. Somebody needs to start getting vision here from Samsung. There this we go. This is the opportunity that Samsung has been looking for. Wraith immediately flashing in to just start to upset the Anarchy team. Eve gets knocked up as well. Kube getting in the back lines, not even needing to teleport. Ixu picks up a kill here. Anarchy turning onto everybody. Samsung coming in very fragmented. That's a double kill for Ixu now. Baron doing a lot of work as well. There goes Rek'Sai finally. Double kill for Crown coming into all of this. Meanwhile, Fury on the run. They're going to chase him into their own jungle. Songyun can chase him down just fine, it looks like. There's a kill. Meanwhile, Crown picks up another one onto Snowflower. A massive team fight. Ixu, though, finishes the ace for Team Anarchy. Three kills for him in that fight. Looks like it's going to be started for oh, them, actually. are they? Okay, they're going to go in. Fury knows this is happening. Helping out a little bit. He's like, hey, I'll help damage that Baron for you. Anarchy gets it down to about half health. Samsung throws on the ward. They know what's up. They're going to go in. Here comes the teleport. They come in. Baron still goes to Anarchy, but they immediately lose Lyra. They're going to lose more than that as Snowflower gets in trouble. Alt on to Mickey. He's in big trouble. Meanwhile, a kill for Ixu. Anarchy trying to turn the round. Zonia is not going to help Mickey out too much. And Samsung, they don't prevent the Baron, but they do get two kills on the way out. So these like next few minutes are crucial for Anarchy because they either need to make... The Barons that they there have really work. Oh, there's the engage right on to Songyun. Songyun trying to get away with that cleanse, but Eve is all over him anyway. Snowflower has to flash away. Here comes Lear with a huge three-man knockup. Oh, boy, Anarchy turning this one around in a hurry as Ixu comes down with the teleport. He's all over Fury right now as well, and Songyun just poking from the back lines. Double kill for Songyun, and Ixu wants to get one as well onto Fury. He will. Ixu has had a huge game on this Fizz, and he's not done yet. Ult onto Wraith. He hadn't even used it yet. Wow. Over the wall, and that's another one. The ace for Anarchy. Well, talk about making the next few minutes work. Break out your cameras, because this is a Kodak moment for <laughs> Team Anarchy. Well, yeah, they should just be able to push to victory right here. At least they're going to get one Nexus turret. That's the bare minimum. I think this is going to be it. Yoon actually coming up big in some of these fights. Still hasn't died yet this game. Yeah, Crown and Eve coming up uh, in less than 10 seconds. So but in less than 10 genes. seconds, this game's going to be over. 
too many sheens. Too many sheens for Samsung to handle. This game is over. Anarchy takes a pretty... Uh, what do you think's written on the stuff next to the Nexus? Just like, uh, be careful, don't destroy this. <laughs> wow, and they're just going to go after this turret. I suppose they can oh, throw a spear and keep this could get crazy. Mickey away. Flash over the wall. There's a stun. A crown gets caught underneath the turret. First blood goes to Mickey. They're going to turn it around. <laughs> Whoops. Here. Oh, yeah. All right, oh, here we go Mickey again. coming in, getting baited perhaps a little bit. Snowflower there with a the stun, though, so they have to be careful. Mickey dodges a spear exhaust, gets pushed back with the pulverize. Oh, no headbutt. Boy. Oh, man, there goes Crown yet again. And Anarchy finds another kill. Getting important abilities in both lanes. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh man, that was clever. Make the play. Ah, yes, right on to Ixu, and they're going to get the knockup after the taunt. <laughs> Kube in a lot of trouble, and he goes down. In fact, everybody is just a, a horrible mass murderer every game almost. Yeah, and you can't even blame the summoners anymore. Oh, there's a knockup exhaust used on to Wraith to slow him down. They really want this kill. Wraith pops his ultimate. Gonna be tanky, but there's the last breath. Damage on to Wraith. Man, he's tanky, but Mickey still gets that kill. A little bit of damage on the mid lane turret, though. Song Yun and Lyra coming in, and Eve getting a lot taking a lot. There's a flash for Lyra. He could go for the knockup here. That's a lot of damage. Song Yun doesn't even need it. Oh, boy. Eve, no flash, so all Song Yun has to do is bird that summoner heal and chase wow. Eve all the way back. Heard is mine. Rotation Quest. <laughs> I feel like someday you're going to make a cell phone game and it's going to be called like Rotation Quest. You have to just really click quickly where you want people to go. Oh, Kube goes in on Snowflower with the flash. Snowflower in a lot of trouble. There's a kill for Fury. So. And Mickey's going to duel with Kube under the turret. Shenult goes down, but the actual knockup misses. Yep. Ooh, clever. Yeah, they're going to go and try to sneak a Baron while Anarchy is occupied in this bottom lane. They saw Shenult down there. Why not? Eve getting a little bit low. Teleport coming in for Samsung, though. And now Kube should be able to tank the rest of this Baron. And it doesn't look like there's anything Anarchy can do to stop this mate. They may not even be aware it's happening. No, they're not aware it's happening at all. They certainly are not aware that Kube just used his teleport to go to the Baron. That was like right at 20 minutes, too. Now Snowflower's, Snowflower's like, hey, where's everybody? Oh, oh uh-oh. <laughs> and Mickey going to get chased. Shenult goes down. Yeah, just kind of keep him safe. Are they going to turn onto it, though? Lyra's coming down as well. Uh, Eve is right there, though. Ixu and Mickey it's maybe some should sort of be able to get away. Suicide pact, actually. I think it's a very uh, elaborate bait by Anarchy. They're going to go right in on the crown. A lot of damage. Ixu takes him out before Samsung really gets their exhaust on the Fury. And here comes the rest of Anarchy. Lyra right there. He's going to get a nice knockup. They do lose Mickey. And Samsung, they need to kill these Anarchy players really fast because here comes Snowflower. Flash gets the tippers down on three of them. And Anarchy still winning this brawl. Song Yun enters the fray now. And Kuve, the only one left around, they're going to be able to take him out. Oh, Kuve flashing away from the knockup from Lyra, so he'll be able to make it out too. Yeah, twisted advance. He saw the stun come back up on Annie, so he just twisted advance, flashes right there. But Anarchy wins a fight, draws them all the way back down, uses that Shen ult, and eventually everybody's able to catch up. But well, Samsung was very grouped, so they're going to yep. lose now an inhibitor turret as a result. I mean, Anarchy's very scrappy. I'm impressed Whoa. they're actually pulling this off. Lyra takes Kuve for a ride, but he's going to be able to get out with his tunnels. Fish. Uh-oh, Fish ult on him, Crown, trying to get his first kill of the game. And uh, Lyra very low. Wraith is going to come in and steal <laughs> it. <laughs> no kills this game for you, Crown. <laughs> Goes to mid and top. And Samsung trying to make a play onto it. Mickey going to get knocked up by that pulverize. He's going to turn right onto Fury, though. A little bit dangerous as Lyra comes over the wall. Kube pops his ult. Going to go in onto Mickey with that twisted advance. But Lyra's right there to zone with the knockup. Here comes Snowflower with another big Tiver Sun exhaust on. And Mickey's going to back out of the fight for a moment. But Samsung player's already going down. Or never mind, actually, Ixu goes down. In that case, Samsung player's getting a kill, but they're going to lose the inhibitor. Yeah, barely. Kuve barely getting out of that, but still, oh, he's going to try go. and Kube in. trying to flank, and Crown coming from the side. Kuve gets exhausted immediately. Fury doing a lot of damage from the back line, so there's a kill for him. They were trying to come on to him there. Uh, finally, a kill for Crown in the mid lane. Song Yoon doing damage, but the double kill comes in for Crown, and Samsung is actually going to find an ace here as they take out Eve. Goodbye, and Fury with the triple that fight. Now they can go directly to the Baron. Concern mm. whatsoever with any kind of arm penetration. Here we go. Oh, yeah, knock up on the Sanyu. They have an opportunity. Crown gets the ult, gets the kill. 
Gets out for now. He's got that zone. Use Anarchy's going to try to finish him off, but he playful tricksters away. Meanwhile, Wraith in the middle of the fight. Mickey tries to get the kill, but gets taken out by Fury. And Samsung is starting to look a little bit too strong for the scrapping of Anarchy. That's a double kill now for Fury, taking some turret hits. And meanwhile, Eve finds Ixu on his own. Can he get the spear? Misses it. No. Well, can they He's actually finish, out. though? Their Nexus oh, wow. turrets are under threat at the yeah, moment. They and may Ixu be able is to. still alive. Baron has ran out, though. Here comes Ixu coming yeah, back again with that home guard. Right now. A little bit dangerous. Lyra gets low. Lyra gets taken out by Fury yet Orkney's again. He's back. Oh, boy. Songyun back. Yeah, they have to back away. They get one inhibitor turret, but that's going to have to be. Oh, here they go. Yeah, no wards for Samsung. Uh-oh. They're going to try to go in. Righteous Glory activated right onto Fury is the pick. Fury gets a bit low. Huge knockup by Wraith, though. Is that going to save his AD carry? Looks like it won't as Mickey comes in with the last breath. Kill goes to Lyra in the end, though. More knockups. Coming down, Crown on the exterior of the fight, trying to make something happen. Another big knockup onto Samsung, and this is quite the fight. Crown manages to pick off the support on the Anarchy side. Lyra doing work before he finally gets taken down, and it looks like in the end, Samsung barely takes the fight as Ixu on the run, the only member of his team left alive. That was about as even as it gets, but Wraith with a headbutt pulverized. Nope, not going to be able to close the distance as Ixu taunts away. Nice of this, you can force the 5v5s or the turret dives that you need to take a win. Oh boy, Baron activated by Samsung, and it looks like Anarchy doesn't like that. Mickey gets exhausted, gets jumped on. Can he make a play here? Last breath comes in. Snowflower able to get the kill on Crown, and that uh -oh. is not good for Samsung. Anarchy found the fight they want, and Ixu getting into the back lines. Ooh, big knockup from Wraith yet again. Going to give his life to save his team. It's a double kill for Snowflower, and he getting bloodthirsty, and Anarchy going for this Baron as Snowflower goes back to base a leisurely trip after a nice team fight from Anarchy. And Mickey hit the one's going to be back up. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Well, Snowflower should be able to just barely get there if Anarchy can delay this fight, but Righteous Glory use are going to go right in. Flash engage onto Mickey. Nice knock up again. Headbutt pulverized by, uh, by Wraith. And Samsung really looking to turn this one around. They killed Mickey so fast and they're going to get Lyra as well. A kill for Kuve. And now who else can they chase down? Crown trying to find Snowflower. He's not going to quite hit him with the ultimate though. Yeah, going to be an inhibitor down in the mid lane, and they've got a while until Lyra and Mickey come out. They want to end it. There's only one inhibitor or one Nexus turret remaining. Ixu, Snowflower, Songyun, all that stands between Anarchy and a loss here. Wraith goes in for another knockup. Crown really poking away at that turret. There it goes. They're going after the Nexus now. Mickey up in four seconds. It's going to be close, but Crown, Crown is on the Nexus, and nobody's stopping him. Double kill for even the same time, and there it is. They get the Nexus, and we are all tied up. Crown takes it out. <laughs> All right, welcome to Summoner's Rift. It's a pretty bad idea. Right here looking oh, for the gang. Yeah, Flash Headbutt doesn't get the pulverized as he exhausts onto Mickey anyway. Here comes Eve, throws in the barrel. Lyra, a little bit of damage onto him. Mickey's in a lot of trouble. Crown goes down, though, as Mickey manages to get that first kill, and he's still alive. Whoa, Eve tries to come in with the body slam, doesn't connect, and... He has that sheen. Could be dangerous. Yeah, Ixu going in, uses that playful trickster. Uh-oh, here comes Gragas. Ixu uses his ultimate, gets Kuve low, but there's a headbutt. Nice barrel from Eve, and that's going to be a dead fizz as Eve picks up a kill for his team. Maybe around this next dragon. Although, uh, no teleport for either top laner, so it's going to be a 4v4. Uh, well, Shen can come down, though. Oh, Eve goes back in with the body slam, gets hit with the gold card. A little bit dangerous going in there as Lyra puts down his ultimate from Evelyn. Eve taken out. Shen comes into the fight. Looks like the both junglers are going to go down. Mickey getting a ton of damage in, though. And a nice little gold lead for Anarchy. About 2k up here at 14 minutes. Still no one with the dragon yet. Ah, oh, they're going to try to make a plan to Kube their gold card onto him. Ixu comes in, doesn't hit the fish, though, and everyone knocked back by Eve's ultimate. Kube is still very low, though. And there's a flash gold card. Lyra picks up the kill. Off of the stun from Mickey. And so it looks like Samsung will take a pretty clean first dragon here. Yep, and there's the gate. Got to uh, make a play on the top side. Yep, trying to take out Kuve again. He does have flash this time. Fizz grabs him with the ultimate. Kuve trying to stand United away. Can they get him in time? They can. Now, Lyra coming mid. It's a very tense lull in the action here. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. Knock up onto Song Yoon. There's the exhaust as well. Snowflower can do nothing to save his teammate, and Fury gets his first kill of the game. Kuve tries to come in with the top. There's a gate of Destiny to see if they can catch Crown. Flash gold card will do it, and Mickey will help Lyra pick up yet another kill. Samsung responding, though, by taking out this bottom turret, so they do get something. Kuve and Ixu just trading, but 
Actually, Ixu not doing too hot well, there. Koopa gets the turret. There's the gate used. Wraith in a lot of trouble either way. Nice play by Snowfire to keep him in there. And Mickey with another kill. Oh, they, meanwhile, they found Fury in the jungle. What in the world was he doing there? Wow, easy kill for Ixu, and they're going to not stop there. Ixu very low, though. They probably should stop there. Kuve comes in, helps set up a kill for Eve. Another one comes in for Kuve as well. Yeah, trying to come in behind Kuve. Can they catch him? Flash gold card onto Kuve. Ixu's all over him as well, too. There's the ultimate pop by Fizz already, and Kuve's not making it out of this one. Ixu with another kill. And Mickey just pushing up this lane. All he needs to do is shove this wave and then get close enough to teleport. We'll see. Looks like they're going in. Ooh, Lyra taking a lot of damage, though. Drops the ultimate. Here comes Mickey with the Gate of Destiny, but immediately body slammed. Knocked in by Eve. Zonia's keeps him alive for the moment anyway. But Fury's starting to lay down the damage. Wraith with another big play. And here we go. Samsung coming in. And they've got the engage they want to do. Kuve flashing for the taunt onto Songyun, but Songyun able to hop away. And they see the Gate not used, so they're just going to go for Baron. Samsung, they're seen though. I mean, the gate was still up when they started this. Lyra gonna wait to come over the wall. TP coming in as well too. They back off from the Baron for the moment anyway. Grab onto Crown, but it gets cleansed. Ixu looking at coming in. This is very dangerous for Samsung, trying to zone with that Victor. Snowflower coming in the back line, so Exhaust goes down on Mickey, and he's going to back away. Fury with the first kill here. Can Samsung win this fight? Lyra a bit disjointed. No real room for Ixu to come in on the outside, and Mickey's on the run. Samsung getting that fight they wanted so badly. Two kills for Fury. Eve picks one up as well, and Samsung able to get that team fight. Song you not even there to really participate. Well, that's how you do it, Doa. Yes. You have these people who refuse to fight you. Well, you force the fight. Shen was in the base. Shen had a way to get in. And you say, we're going to take Baron, and we're going to just run down mid lane with our super minions unless you do something about it right now. Uh, there so, are no minions. Are they just going to try to end it here? Taunt yeah. onto Song Yun. He's the only one left. There's a knockup. Another kill for Kuve. And it looks like Samsung just wants to end the game right here. That's a lot of turret damage. Snowflower is up. How annoying can this guy be? Probably not enough to stop Samsung from taking this turret. We'll see. That turret doing a lot of damage, getting down to low health. Looks like Samsung, though, should be able to close it out, and they will. So one bag team fight, like we said, that's all Samsung needed to take the game and take the match. GG. Yeah, very nice, very nice play at the Baron at the end. They finally yeah. actually... Welcome once again to Summoner's Rift. Long Zhu I am and their Legion of Fanatical fans. to go with the fans. Blade of the Ruin King first here in this hmm. matchup, where we almost never see that. Hmm. Uh, but he does have the sustain. Oh, here's oh, here an action. Double knockup onto OQ and if your Tucson comes in. Exhaust onto Oku, they're going to flash ahead here, trying to get out, getting very low though, and that's first blood going to Tucson. I am with four men in the bottom lane, strikes first. Yeah, Goong here, they may have count cornered Frozen, there's a flash. Uh oh yeah, Frozen could be in a little bit of trouble, gets away though, has to burn that summoner in just before the gank cap. We got, <laughs> we know this scene down to like a T, man. <laughs> uh oh, Ignar in a little bit of trouble, he's got to get away, a lot of trouble. gets knocked back. Pushes away Goong, but I think it's still going to be a kill. Yeah, Goong picks up his first of the game. And now Tucson in a little bit of trouble as well. Duke decides to come into the bottom side. Now they're going to spot Watch coming in to take the Krux, but I am going to try to collapse on this. Knock up onto Watch. They've got Goong there to do damage, though. Tucson in a little bit of trouble. Pure gets a hook on a Sonstar, but dodging on the way out. Uh-oh, Watch gets caught and frozen. Picks up a kill with that Shockwave. Where is Duke? There hasn't been any kind of attempt to up. Oh, flash pulverize onto OQ, gets knocked right back under turret. There's the exhaust OQ trying to flash away, can't make it. And Watch really can't stop this. Ooh, but maybe with the teleport coming in from Duke, they can. Dragon a little bit low, Watch trying to flash, doesn't get the body slam onto Sansar. They're gonna turn onto Ignar now. Goon coming in, he's gonna have to deal with Frozen on the outside, but he zones in with the Chaos Storm. Duke's still gonna chase. Ignar. Oh, they're going to flash. Try to catch Expression with the Twisted Advance. They will slow him up. Watch coming in as well, though. Expression backing away. It looks like they'll be able to get one kill out of this, at least. Oh, Duke getting low. Meganar happens. That was a close call. Oh, boy. Does look like they'll be able to get it, though, yeah? Well, he also doesn't have the luxury of waiting for that minion wave to uh -oh. bounce. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Got to be careful. There's the flay, keeps Duke, so it keeps OQ safe for now. And Tucson gets very, very low. Lantern brings him right into a pulverize. That was not the Lantern to take. Pure, force back, OQ dead again. They're going to try to push Sansar. Ooh, Tucson nearly taken out by OQ. Double kill, though, for Sansar as he comes in with the Corky. Ignar coming over for OQ oh kill number three. OQ, why? Why, OQ? Why are you doing this? 
Headbutt pulverized. Oku in a lot of trouble. Gets exhausted. Still has his heal, but that's not going to do him any good. Just got to try to take out Expression, but Expression high enough on health that that is another kill onto Oku. Few auto attacks here and oh, there. And now they're going to go for it. Najin backing away. This would be dragon number three for I am, so Najin really needs to do something about it. Teleport coming down right now, right on top of I am. Teleporting coming down for them as well, too. Dragon getting low. Pure grabs Tucson. Goong on the outside of the fight. Ignar with a big knockup. The dragon will end up going over to Najin, though. And Najin just trying to back away. Pure caught, though, with that shockwave. That's going to be a kill for Frozen. Goong managed to grab one as well, too. Duke duking it out with expression as Najin goes for the disengage. Both supports get taken out. But Najin grabs that crucial first drag. Building armor now. Yep, going towards that Randuin. So, ooh, Sansar jumps onto OQ. OQ pops that blade, but he's getting very, very low. OQ <laughs> takes it, though. Ooh, that was, that was quite a duel, man. <laughs> I am going to start the dragon. And can Najin stop this one? They stole with a sapling last time. I don't think they're going to get the same opportunity they should all this it, time around. Oh, absolutely, Ignar. they Great should. Great positioning from Ignar right here. Yep, that's right. Dragon taken by... I am Najin just running back to the mid lane, and here's oh. the engage. Nice knock up there. Oh, big shockwave as well. Kung on the outside being exhausted, can't really participate a whole lot. I am not taking too much or damage yet. Oh, but there's a kill coming in. Pure able to grab one somehow, some way. Kung getting jumped on now. Sons are very low. Oh, doesn't go down. Expression picks up the kill there, and it's one for two. But I am does get away with that dragon. Able to make it out. Oh. They're going to try to find Watch. Watch backing away. OQ taking a little bit of damage from Expression's boomerang. Uh-oh, that is a big ultimate from Expression. They're going to grab Duke out of the fight. OQ getting a lot of damage done. Najin could turn this one around, but never mind. Ignar making a play onto OQ, taking a lot of damage. Big shockwave comes in once again for Frozen. Goon doing a lot of damage from the outside, though. Lots being traded here from both sides. OQ, though, finding a play onto Sonstar. Oh, does he get him? He does, even being pushed back here. Najin comes out with two kills, only losing pure so far, and Goong pushing that mid lane. See, when they use the... He's the only one around. It would be a miracle. Nice zoning from Goong, and the Baron will go over to Najin. Are they going to be able to escape, though? Goong could be in a little bit of trouble from Frozen, but without the Shockwave, I suppose there's not a lot to worry about. Still takes a lot of damage. Oh, there's a Flash. Goong trying to dodge these skill shots. Frozen trying to catch him with that Command Protect. Goong, he's got a lot of mobility. Frozen could be in trouble. Oh, he goes down anyway. Frozen gets the kill, now the fight continues. OQ caught a little bit, gets knocked up, gets killed. Tucson with the kill for himself. Man, and get out of this here. is crazy, yeah, Najin needs to back away. They have no damage, both their carries are all the way. Another Shockwave brings in Watch and Duke. Expression low health, Watch trying to make it out. He does, and they're gonna keep chasing Duke though. Yeah, I think that's a chance to end the fight, and they will. Najin going after this Dragon though. A lot of damage on it, pretty even though Ignar may come in. He's got the command protect, he's going to go in. That's going to be a big shockwave. Oh, yes, it is. And IM gets a big team fight. Sansa with a kill onto Goong already. OQ getting a good angle. Oh, but he gets brought in, immediately flashes over the wall. He can turn around, though. He can still do damage onto this. But watch on the run. Yeah, IM's got this fight down in spades. Goodbye, Duke. Double kill for Frozen. Watch getting chased around by Expression. Doubtful he's going to be able to make it out after they clean up this dragon. They will take their third of the game. Now to kill Watch. There we go. Sansar with another kill. Oh, boy. That was low-hanging fruit, man. Come on. Sorry, it was too easy. I feel like we've got the pot calling the kettle black here. Yeah. Well, Sansar going for this fifth dragon just by himself. Najin wants to try to take this Baron. They need to take this Baron. If they don't, oh, boy. I am as five dragons. Here we go. Four-man knockup. Oh no, the shockwave comes in as well. Najin could be in a bit of trouble here, but OQ gets a good angle onto Ignar, gets a kill, and this actually could turn around. No, never mind. I am just a little bit too strong with those five dragons. Duke just getting completely taken apart here. Goong and OQ trying to kite backwards. They're doing a lot of damage. Expression gets there, gets a two man ult. Goong caught, and that's going to be all she wrote. OQ can't do anything about it, and that is an ace. <laughs> Well, I don't know what to say uh, about that. They let, they knew Sonstar was soloing the, was so the fifth dragon. So they wanted to bait that, but they couldn't turn for the proper engage before the fifth dragon stack came down. And those extra stats are absolutely huge. That's going to be the end of the game. Uh, yeah. All of the tower damage that they have right now is just overwhelming. You got to think about the little things that happened early on to Oku getting caught multiple times. It all adds up, and I am. 
takes Sunstar with a celebratory death, I guess. As the Nexus goes down, an incredible miracle takes game one. Well, wow. they what really you know? controlled that game. Frozen Zorion. Welcome once again to Summoner's Rift. Incredible miracle. Versus Najin EM Fire and Lock is Asian. really low for this game. Uh, yeah, but. Special's overheated though. Yeah, he will be. Yeah, he is right now. Oh, there's a flash pulverized expression in a lot of trouble. And he w? will. W! No, not quite down. Oh, Watch comes in with a turret oh, shot no! being up. Oh, expression gets a kill. He gets first blood. No, he doesn't. Oh, no, he doesn't. The turret killed him. The turret killed oh. him. Expression never actually got a hit. Watch is going to find a Tucson there. Hello, Destiny expression. coming in. They're going to go after Expression. There's a gold card onto him. Ah, and Duke engages with that twisted advance. Expression lays on the equalizer, but Goon with another gold card. Goon gets the first kill there. From the river right now, everybody coming in. It's a recall. Oh, wow, they're going to go in early. Watch him. Pure has, Pure has to pop that slicing mouse from very early. OQ gets jumped on. Here comes Goon with the Twisted Fate. Gold card onto Ignar. OQ gets plenty of time for damage, and this fight is all Najin right now. Double kill for Watch. And I am in a bit of trouble. They've still got decent poke with the Ziggs, but I think they're just going to have to let this dragon go. Especially coming into the Equalizer, though. Sonstar's still up. They've got a lot of damage if they want to go for it. Flash gold card. Goon goes on to Sonstar, and there's another kill. OQ picks that one up. Gets a bit of help. Oh, oh Ziggs! Stolen. Frozen grabs it with the ultimate. Nicely done, and I am manages to get something out of that Wow, actually lost flashing forward onto Goong. Expression yeah. going in solo. Ooh, gold card used. Expression chasing. That's a lot of damage, but Duke is here to save the day. OQ comes in for a lot of damage as well, and with that twist advantage, OQ picks up another one. So maybe not a fight that IM needed to really take. Now they could force an unfavorable fight, because I don't know if there's any there tunnels go. out there. And they will go in. Expression drops that equalizer, but not before the slicing Maelstrom comes in. Goong with another gold card onto Sonstark. Just gets him on his own. Frozen comes up as well. The bomb is dodged. Another gold card onto Ignar as he tries to make something happen. Flashes for the pulverize. Watch comes back in again. Ignar going to go down pretty quick. Actually, still alive. Wow, OQ manages to finally pick up the kill there. Two, and then you walk in. OK. Oh, hi. Oh, to his advance, they're going to go into expression. There's the equalizer going down, but they're still going to get the kill. I'm just going to zone his auto. Uh oh. Whoa! <laughs> flashed out of that just the right time. Oh, man. Give this game the runaround. Oh, hi. Uh oh, Duke in a little bit of trouble. Pops the ultimate. He is very tanky. Close call. Ultimate's not up, though. They're going to chase him. Gated Destiny used. Frozen. They used the gold card already, though. Duke just zoning, and now they catch Ignar. Ignar flashes over the wall. Still alive for now. Duke in the back lines gets low. There's a kill for Watch. They take out Ziggs, and now OQ able to get one onto Sonstar. Do you take the Baron now? There, we got some kills. Now we're free to take the Baron. Oh, boy. He's going to pop over the wall with the Lucian dash. Watch joining him, and he's going to be taking this one out. Duke is not in the best shape, but finally they are able to engage behind the Baron. <laughs> Get comes the Tucson. Oh, oh he got it! <laughs> he smited the Baron. And Najin feeling a bit silly about that. Goon gets the kill. Yeah, that's how I feel too. <laughs> wah, wah. And then he laughs in the enemy's faces as they kill him. Meanwhile, a fight down in bottom. Like, it looks like Sonstar is going down. Another kill for Goon. Equalizer comes in. Expression pushed a bit back. Ignar wants to try to make a play here. Zonia's. With the flame spitter, especially going for the style points, apparently. Watch, separated from the rest of his team in oh the no. revenge of Ziggs. Oh boy, a kill for Frozen. Shut down. Another too. gold card comes in, though. Yeah, Goong's still sticking around. Oh boy, but he needs to leave now. Oh, here we go. Oh, uh, yep, Duke coming in for the flank from behind. Watch trying to get in there as well. He's really locking up the back lines. Expression puts on a nice equalizer, but it does not stop Pure from coming in. Ignar and Expression just trying to keep their carry safe, but they can't do it. Duke is doing so much by himself. OQ picks up a kill already. Kennen grabs one, and now Duke just diving. Goong, a oh little bit low in the back Culling. lines. He has to be careful. Culling happens, so double kill for OQ. Here we go, triple, triple kill for OQ. And he wants to get back, and that's going to be the end of the game. The power of the Lich Bane, though. Yeah. Well, OQ's like, oh, I need to kill on Ignar. I didn't have enough yet. And so, OQ with a stellar game on that Lucian, but the entire team uh, manages to get a win a little bit later than maybe they could have, but a win is a win is a win, and we are all tied up. OQ tried to die. He tried so hard at the end there, but he didn't succeed. GG.
Yeah. Wow. Finishing 8-0 and 2. Good. Not bad. And welcome to Summoner's Rift. Incredible miracle. Oh, You're gonna yes. try for the top lane gank with Goon or with Duke. Goon is Duke is a level down. Flash is still up for everybody here. There's the chilling smite expansion. No way he's getting out of this one. And that's gonna be first blood. Whoa! Barely makes it out. Watch chasing gets the first kill of the game. And Tucson gonna give himself up as well. A kill for Duke. Whoops. For Duke here in the top side. Oh, Goong a little bit caught here. Gets hit with the dredge line. May have to burn that flash. Gets a little bit low. There's a gold card used. No summoners. Might have needed to flash for that one. Kills on both sides. They do take out Ignar, but. Right now. Or they need to all in the TF. There's the gate. There we yeah, go. Yeah, they're going to definitely come in under this one. Trusted advance. Goong ready with the gold card. Expression has that flash, but. Can he get the Dragon's Ascent in time? Dragon's Ascent Flash may save him, but nope, another gold card, and that'll lock him up long enough for Goong to pick up a kill, his first of the game. Or, you know, Korean. Well, they don't have a sound. Pure comes in, though, knocks up Roar. Oh, goodbye. Watch picks up that kill. OQ gets ulted, but where's the follow-up? There is no follow-up, because Tucson is about to go down. OQ with a kill there. This game, which could end up making it go faster. Rek'Sai is smells out those fake barons from oh one boy way and he away. smells out some kills potentially as well too goon coming from behind gold card onto tucson whoa goon's a little bit on his own here ignar uses that ultimate they throw him against the wall goon with no flashes in a lot of trouble goodbye frozen picks up a kill there they pop the silver ultimate can they turn this one around chaos storm is already used but Najin all on the run into the fight in a quick manner. So yeah. Oh, well, Flash, they're going to go into Duke. Duke's pretty tanky, though. OQ may get a chance to get some kills, but no, it's looking pretty rough. Duke very low. Dragon's Ascent gets expression a bit closer, but Pure comes in with a nice knockup. Watch as well. Another Huge big knockup. Knock OQ could clean this one up. There's one kill. This one could be very bad for I am A double kill for OQ. He's not done yet. Can they catch more? Tucson in trouble. There's another one going down. Triple kill for OQ. Looks like Roar, though, and Ignar are able to get out, but the Dragon will go to Najin. Yeah, Grop Duel, you can, you can do it. I feel like you need to add a little bit more to it, you know, like Bartholomew Grop Duel or something. <laughs> you know? That actually just sounds like some sort of folksy indie band. Yeah, well. Oh. Roar flashes out of the way of Pure and gets a little bit of damage in. Up oh, teleport coming in from IM as well too. Duke messing with the back lines, allowing the rest of Najin to catch up here. But IM already on the disengage. Looks like they're going to catch Tucson anyway. There's another kill for OQ, and they're going to grab that blue buff. Oh. All right, they're going to try. OQ coming in from the side. Duke out in the middle of everybody again, and Goom doesn't even need to really gate. Gets a gold card. There goes Expression. Ignar in a lot of trouble as well, too, after they finish off Expression. Wow, OQ okay. fairly low. Ignar, oh, tried to get the kill, but didn't get quite enough. Let's see. I know. I know the reaction that gets. <laughs> oh, they're going to try to go in. Pop oh, that nice. Zimbal, but what a knockup. Oh, my gosh. Wow. I am in big trouble as Najin just picks him apart completely. OQ just untouched. Uh, goodbye, Expression. Tried to make a play. That's not going to work. OQ with another kill. And they're going to go ahead and get that inhibitor. And who will stop Najin now? Well, it's not going to be IM this time, that's for sure. Yep. Second inhibitor taken out as well. Oh, taken out as well. There we go. Where did TF go? Oh! He's going to bot lane. Try and get damage down onto the bot turret while they can. Yep. Najin just ruthlessly pushing waves this time. This is so much cleaner. Yeah, I mean, they, they seem so much more decisive this time, so much more ready to fight, ready to take those marginal risks, but... I, I don't know where this... Where does this Najin go? Sometimes it shows up and it looks very, very good. But this has been a dominant game and so much great map movement from Najin. Yeah. And objective play, but... We just, clean. we just haven't seen this. Besides that one ult in from Goong, everything's been very good. Oh, wow. Goodbye, Sivir. That was close. Special knocked up as well. They're going to take down Ignar. Another kill for Goong. OQ and Goong just cleaning things up. When Najin wins, this is usually what happens. OQ with another one, and they can probably just end the game right here. I don't even see why they need to leave. Super minions from the first inhibitor coming in. Oh. Whoa, Frozen, you decided to leave Fountain. Oh, no, OQ. <laughs> oh, Taken up by the base. OQ. That was an OQ moment for sure. That's kind of silly. But it's not going to stop Najin EM Fire from ending the game and 
ending the match with a 2-1 victory. A bit of a misstep in game number one, but they do keep their playoffs hope alive. That is it, GG. But still, they only get that plus one in yeah, terms they, of the match point. That very well may come back to haunt them as the season finishes up here over the next few weeks.